Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. I am Dr. Muhammad Mahtab Alam, and I am discussing about health administration. What is what are the definitions of planning? Planning is projected or predetermined course of action designed to achieve a specific goal or a specific objectives. Planning determines what, when, where, how, why, and by whom things will be done. Planning involves decision making for future events. What are the process of systematic or scientific planning? So the first step of scientific planning or systematic planning is establish goal and objective. What is your long term vision and what is your short term vision? What is your long term target and what is your short term target? Okay. Then second one is designing alternative course of action. Don't plan only one course of action. Plan alternative course of actions. Then analyzing and predicting the consequences. Select the best course of action. Whatever options you have, select the best course of actions. Then implementing the selected plan and performing periodic evaluation to assure success of plans. Now, principles of planning. Being an intellectual activity, it needs knowledge, experience, foresight, reasoning and the mastering of a special skill and techniques. Example of different techniques of planning are like planning, programming, budgeting system and performance evaluating review techniques and critical path method. So there are three types, three different techniques of planning. One is called PPBS, planning, programming, budgeting system. Another one is called PERT, performance evaluation review techniques. And another one is called CPM, critical path method. Planning is a dynamic, non-static process and it is continuous circular process. See here, start from here, planning, then execution, then evaluation and then again planning. So, participative planning is sharing the program planning with other people, staff and agencies concerned with the program. Participative planning have advantages and disadvantages of its own. Planning of a program based on three things, need and demands of the public, available resources and attitude of the public. Constraint to a plan may be social, economical or political. These are the three important constraint of planning, social, economical and political. And they may be related to either external environment or in one internal environment. 